Hey everybody, this is Robert Mack with uh, Irvine Real Estate Link and I'm here to talk to you about a really cool article that I saw um, in the OC Metro uh, publication, the magazine. And this is the magazine, OC Metro, the December issue. And you can find these you know, at subways uh, all around town. It's a free magazine, you may even have a subscription to it. Um, every time I go to Subway, I pick one up and I take a look at it. And, and they always have some great articles uh, regarding the real estate world, what's going on, things like that. So I, I was at Subway the other day and uh, I was flipping through it and I found a cool article that I want to share with you today, that I want to talk to you about today. And um, what I'll do is I'll post the link on uh, the, the description down below. That way you can check it out online if you can't find a copy of it. So um, the article is Seven Things You Must Do Before Buying a New Home in 2011. And this is a great article because uh, a lot of people have an idea of uh, buying a new home, what, what it is and how it works, but it's, it's kind of a myth. Now, we, if you're living in the newer areas, you know, Irvine, Tustin, those kind of areas where there are still new home builders, that, that's all coming back. You know, new home builders are starting to build more new homes. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this is a great article for those people that are looking for a new home, the people that want to buy a brand new home and live in it. And now, I'm not going to go through all seven points because it'll be a really long video. But there's one point that I want to talk to you about today that's uh, really important, and it's point number three. If you have the, the magazine, it's on page 46. Uh, it's, it's actually, I'm sorry, point number four. And what it says is, I'm going to read it to you. It says, don't necessarily go with the builder's agent or the builder's lender. Now, let me read to you real quick what it says. Anyone affiliated with the builder is representing the builder's interest. As you negotiate the ins and outs of selecting and ultimately financing a new home, you want to select an agent and a lender who will answer to you, to you, not the builder. A good agent may help you reduce your total costs and be worth their weight in gold. Now, this is really huge. And when I saw this, I was actually excited because what, what happens is the builders, they have their, their beautiful model homes. And, and, and as a buyer, if, you, if you're looking for new homes or you've been in the market for a new home, you know you just go to the model home and what they do is they require you to sign in. Now when you sign in, you're theirs. You don't have the option to use an agent to represent you any longer and to help you negotiate the best price and terms. So what you want to do before you go sign in is call the builder and ask them if they're cooperating with agents. Some builders cooperate with agents and allow agents to represent their clients and some don't. Which is unfortunate in my opinion because you know having the, the support of the agents is, is huge. Um, you know we've seen it go up and down when the market's really good uh, they, they, um, they cooperate with agents and when it's not they don't. They want to save as much money as possible. So first step is you want to make sure you, you call the builder and ask them if they're cooperating with agents and if they are you want to make sure you grab an agent to help you. Now I've done this on several occasions. I've worked with clients looking for new properties and I gotta say I've helped them save thousands of dollars. You know by law the people that are working that you know the hosts, hostesses and realtors that are working in these offices are there for one reason to help the builder sell those properties for the most amount of money and help the builder net the most amount of money. So by working with one of those realtors, you're really shooting yourself in the foot because they're interested in helping the seller get the most amount of money, and they're not. And, and while they're representing you, they're not helping you. They're not interested in helping you save the most amount of money or get the property for the best possible deal and terms, price and terms. So I made a, a couple notes here on on an instance that I've worked with with a buyer who bought a new home, and I was able to help them save thousands of dollars. I walked into the to the builder with them. I helped sign them in and I signed myself in as the agent representing them. Now, keep in mind as a buyer, there's no charge to use an agent to represent you. It's only to your benefit to have somebody who works for you who's going to help you negotiate the best price and terms. So, I made a couple notes here and and one is that the agent, you know, can help you negotiate the best price. The builder sets a price they want for it, but keep in mind they're extremely negotiable on price. They want to sell those properties as soon as possible. They don't want to have inventory on their hands. So having a good agent can help you negotiate the best price and help you determine a price that's fair for both parties by, by taking a look at the surrounding areas and seeing what homes are going for in that, in that area. Okay. They can help you negotiate closing costs. Now closing costs are so important. You know, when you purchase a home, there's closing costs such as title, escrow, lender fees, recording fees, 
uh, things like that. The builders, in many cases, the motivated builders will will pay you, will will credit you, an amount to be to be credited towards your closing costs. Now, the closing costs can be used for just that closing costs. You can use them to buy down your interest rate and secure a better rate. You can negotiate more upgrades, you know, on the builder's uh, uh, dime. And you can have the builder pay for you know a year's worth of HOAs or mellow ruse. So, so don't be don't be afraid to have an agent represent you and really ask for you you know fight for you to not only get the best price but to get closing costs help help eliminate the out of pocket costs for you, get some additional upgrades, maybe pay for your HOA for for a year or so, and help lighten the load for you. So. Um, you know, in addition to all that and, and negotiating the price and terms for you, you know, you want an agent to be with you, to be there along with you for the ride, you know, help you with the paperwork, uh, make sure the builder stays on track, things like that. In addition, working with an agent can help you, uh, they can help you find a lender. Now, the builders have their own lenders that they want you to work with and they want you to work with the lender because they, they're going to, they have an agreement with the lender that they're, that they're, um, uh, recommending they have an agreement with them and the lender you know they're gonna make some money on the back end too most likely so having an agent help you uh, find a different lender to work with maybe in your best interest you may be get better closing costs you may get a better rate you know you want to have options you don't want to just go with the builders uh, because they're recommending it keep in mind the people that are working with the builder are representing the builder they want to help the builder get the most amount of money not they're not interested in, in, in what you want so that's my post for today. If you're looking to buy a new home in Irvine or the surrounding areas, before you go into the office and sign in, check with the builder, give them a call. Even if you have to go in, don't sign in, but ask them, hey, I'm working with an agent. Do you cooperate with agents? And if they do, you want to make sure uh, you find an agent who's going to represent you. Here at the MAC team, we've helped many people buy brand new homes. And, and we're with them along the entire process. We want to make sure the escrow is smooth. We want to make sure that the builder does and says what they what they say they're going to do. We want to help you negotiate the best price in terms so that when you buy your new home, you feel happy that you got a great deal. So I hope everyone enjoyed that video today. If you like it, please share it with your friends and family. And as always, our contact information is below. You can send us feedback, comments, ask us questions. It's very encouraging to hear from you guys. And I hope everyone's gearing up for the new year. And take care and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.